true story. And I think maybe this could turn into a video because this is ridiculous. All right, so I'm scrolling through Instagram and there's this restaurant called Moo. So I thought, hey, it'd be cool to check it out. Well, I pull in here. So this is apparently it according to Google, unless the address is wrong. All right, so there's literally, there's no signs. It's just a gas station. And then there's this building, which I'm sorry, this, it looks like it's a closed restaurant. But the only, like, you see that one sign in there? That is the Moo sign I saw on Instagram. I wonder if it'll focus. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Wow. Technology. Yeah, that is the sign I saw on Instagram. So if it wasn't for that one sign, I would think this place is like an abandoned or closed building next to a gas station. So long story short, um, this is supposed to be a really good restaurant. And I'm kind of skeptical, but uh, let's go in and see what this is all about. Let's have some fun, eat some food. Um, what I saw online was these great big like steak things, almost reminded like a Brazilian Rodizio. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. Like I said, maybe this will be like a worst restaurant <laughs> video, or maybe it'll be like I don't know what kind of video this will be. But I'm making this video just in case this actually turns into a video because this is undoubtedly going to be an experience. So. Let's go ahead Ed, and see what Moo is all about. All right, everybody, so we made it on in, got seated. Staff are very, very friendly, and it definitely looks a lot, you know, it's a lot more of a, an ambiance in here, I'll put it that way. It's a little, a little skeptical to pull it in, um, but got the menu. I got a drink order in already. Hey, uh, are you ready to oh, order? Uh, yeah, uh, I am actually. Um, wait, 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 I know that guy. Wait, I know you. I know you. I know that I know you. Come on, man, I know you. You're that guy, the food guy. Mm. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Let, let, You're gonna take care of him. Yeah, I'll take care of him. Don't worry about it. Just give me a second here. Give me a second here. I'm gonna be right back. Oh. Uh, right back. Okay. Um. I'm not really sure what's happening, but um. Uh, uh, I guess I'll find out, but in the meantime, the menu looks great. They had like, I was gonna say they have ceviche, they have like uh, a whole bunch of meat dishes and seafood and uh, like mung fungo, a whole bunch of Latin flair, but um, I gotta go figure out what's going on. No, what, just one second. Uh. All right, so I went and clarified what exactly is going on, and long story short, um, the guy basically said, you're going to eat my kitchen. So apparently they're making me a whole bunch of different items. I have no clue what I'm getting, so I'll have to get him to let me know what I'm actually getting and walk me through it. That being said, I'm going to try to get some shots of making some food. And uh, apparently we're going to be eating the menu. But I don't know what that means. So like I said, let's go find out. And I'll be back here in just a second. All right, everybody. So somehow we got way more food than I ever anticipated. There is no way I'm going to eat this all. Uh, I just came for a nice light lunch. That being said, we got way more than that. But I am here with the head chef because uh, I have absolutely no clue we have in front of us here. So please, uh, introduce yourself and uh, please tell me what we have here. Hey, nice to meet you guys. I'm Nival Lurdaneta. I'm the executive chef of uh, Moor Restaurant in Grisimi. So we have a lot of different things, delicious things, chicharrones or Moo Burger Award winning best burger in the town, two years in a row, mofonguitos, arepas, tacos, salad, ceviche, mar de mama, and of course the espetada, Sweet. like a 50 pounds meat. Jeez, all right, so this is a picanha, which is like roasted, grilled. We have pineapple, all kinds of different peppers and onions. At the bottom here, we have everything from like tostones, the french fries. This is a dish, now this, you said it's kind of like a chapino? Yeah, it looks like a chapino and tastes similar. That's a shrimp. Tomato sauce? Yeah, tomato sauce, roasted peppers. So now this is a very different looking arepa. <laughs> I've yeah. never seen one of that, but it has cochinita pavilla. Yeah, it's cochinita pavilla. The, the meat is cochinita bibil, it's fried arepas on the bottom and fried cheese on top, salsa tartara and pico de gallo. And now what is this? This is the mofonguitos with lomo saltado. It's a Peruvian traditional dish, okay. so it's our version of the lomo saltado. Okay, so it's, it's like deep fried plantains, right? Yeah, it's a deep fried plantains and meat, tomatoes and onions. Interesting. Now chicharrones, some kind of sauce on them? Yeah, we have the chicharrones. We have a 
tamarind reduction, it's brown butter and Chipotle pepper reduction with tamarind juice. Okay. It's very, very, very. And now, award-winning burger. What is what 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 is on there exactly? Yeah, our burger is uh, a certified Angus beef. Okay. Uh, bacon gastric, blue cheese, house-made tomatoes, roasted uh, roasted tomatoes, and house-made pickles. And then ceviche. Yeah, for ceviche we have uh, Venezuelan corvina. Okay. And mango. Yes. Just the uh, traditional ceviche with lamb juice. Some of his, jalapenos, onions. House salad, pretty yeah. self-explanatory. And yes. then we have tuna tacos. Little yeah. ahi tuna tacos, what we got on there? Yeah, ahi tuna tacos. We have pocket tuna, the pocket sauce. He really with... doesn't know what he's talking about. He, just... <laughs> he doesn't know what he's talking <laughs> about. Exactly. He's just the head chef. Okay. Yeah, it's the regular pocket sauce on there. Okay. And we put a little bit of uh, avocado on the bottom. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Hey, well, uh, thank you. No, thank you, Rob. I have no clue what this is all going to be like, but I guess let's try it. And somehow we get a lot of food. So enjoy. Great hospitality. And thanks, my friend. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Woo. Everybody, I guess let's eat. Definitely excited. There's so many items. Um, I'm probably going to try. Well, we'll start with the, uh, the salad here because healthy vegetables for the children. We got some like lovely pickled onions in here. Tomatoes, cilantro, mixed greens. Mm. Mm. So lovely dressing on that. Here we have the ceviche too. Man. Mm. Oh my god. The lime. The lime. The freshness of that fish. Mm. The sweetness of that mango, mm. so much citrus, very fresh fish. Mm. I'm gonna hold on to some of that because these other items are gonna get hot and cold. But there's just so much here. I don't even know. Like I really don't know where to start. Let's try. No, let's just cut two up. Let's try this beef here. I don't know. If there's a proper way to do this. Look at this, everybody. Wow. There's so much meat. Woo wee. Look at that. That is just a succulent piece of picanha. Big old chunks of beef. Oh yeah. Looking mighty fine. Picanha, if you're not familiar, is a great big fat cap. They love it in like Brazilian cuisine, a lot of other Latin American cuisines. Yeah. A nice flavorful. Tender piece of meat. Massive piece of freaking beef. Wait, wait. Really nice seasonings on here as well. There's definitely some like rosemary, pepper. Mm. And we have grilled pineapple up here. And then uh, onion. I'm excited. Oh! Mm. Woo! Jalapeno. Oh man, is it bad to just move this down? Holy crap, everybody. And these onions. Mm. Great flavor. So first impressions, don't let the outside of the restaurant fool you. <laughs> this is nuts. Mm. Mm. All right, I think I should prioritize trying everything and then I can come back to it because I like, this will just take me so long to go through. Let's try this burger while we're at it. Oh, that looks great, guys. Bacon gastric, look at that. Let's just try a bite of it. I know they doused this in tallow. Oh. Woo! Okay, 10 out of 10. Guys, burger is cooked perfectly. Mm. You get the lovely richness of that bacon. It's a lovely bun, the tomatoes. Look at this. It's just dripping. I see why this is award winning. This thing rocks. Best burger of the year. Best burger of the year. Burger's good, man. The burger is very good. It is, uh, I, 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 I see why it's award winning. Yeah. I see why it's award winning. Keep eating. You still a long way to go. Very long way. Thank you. Woo. One thing, that burger is rich. Woo! Talk about heavy. Oh man. Cleanse my palate. Maybe some tuna poke. 
So this has the avocado cream on it, a little fried shell, soy, ginger. Fried shell is very rich actually, and it's lighter than that burger was, but whew, this is heavy. Maybe I need some, uh, maybe I need some ceviche. Cleanse my palate. Shout out to ceviche though, guys. That was what I needed. Really good. I think I'm just going to have aioli here. Try that out. Hold on. A little like a spicy mayo. Fire. So you can see what's going on. Probably going to try this, um, the Mar de Mama. Mar de Mama. I mean, it looks fantastic. It's like a seafood, a tomato. Apparently it's spicy. Would you like me some spice? I got a piece of lobster. I guess I'm, I'm just gonna go hands in. Try this lobster out. Lobster. Mm, garlic. Oh, there you go. I'm making a mess. Maybe this is not a hand food. Got some squid in here, some calamari. Ooh, that tomato sauce. So tomato sauce. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that is a, uh, napkins are a requirement. So the calamari, the, sh the squid in there, the tomato is absolutely lovely. Just the flavors in that. The seafood is cooked perfectly. This, like these shrimps are just coming out, but whatever, it's delicious. Mmm. Woo! Oh man, that bread. Mm. Amazing flavor. Seafood's always great. But that is very, very, very great. Oh man. Mm. Oh yeah. And there's so many shrimp in here. Mm. This just is huge. Mm. Mm. That was amazing. But maybe I'll try one of these guys up here. The Mumfonquitos. So fried plantain. Beef. I think it's a heavy cream or some kind of a so some kind of a sauce. Tomatoes. These are these are heavy. These are dense. Let's see what it's all about. Lovely ginger. Plantain is a nice crisp. Plantain is a really interesting texture. Like very big Latin American culture. Like tostones. I think it's also available in a shrimp and a chicken. Which I think are very different flavored. I think it's supposed to be a Peruvian style beef. Love the flavor. Then they get ginger, so it's fresh, very rich at the same time. No shortage of food though, guys. These are intense, intense dishes. I'll try these chicharrones, everybody. So, chicharrones, basically fried pork skin with a little like, like pork belly, so a little like bacon almost. Tamarind sauce, lime on there as well. Whoa! Mm. Oh man, hold up. Mm. It is crunchy, very rich, very heavy. Mm. This is like a great appetizer. You don't need a bite. I mean, like seriously, there's a, there's a lot in here. This is heavy though. Only a bite so I need. Right at the bottom. Uh, try. They got saucier as you went along. That is fire. Very delicious. And it was served with some fried plantains. I mean, no complaints. Fried plantains. There is no shortage of food though. Woo! And these items are heavy. There is no way I'm even going to get through this. Maybe I'll get through a little more of it, but whoo! And like I said, the tostones, mashed fried plantains. Mm. French fries. I think this is yuca. Mm. Yuca. Mm. Covered in beef dripping. Woo! Very good yuca. All right, let's try one of these arepas, though. This, I've never seen a arepa like this before. It's like open, you know, so we got the uh, the arepa on the bottom. It's like a fried fried kind of dough thing. Then we have the cochinita papil, the crema, 
Some pico de gallo made with a red onion and fried cheese. I think this is a finger food. Let me just grab a bite of these, uh, one of these guys right here. Let's see what it's all about. Oh man, they have a really nice kind of crunch with the, uh, the coleslaw there, the cabbage. The coach needs a bill. It's like a Mexican Yucatan originating pork. The soft corn and fried crisp with the arepa. It was actually fantastic. A little bit of pico. The mayonnaise makes it very, very rich. This is surprisingly good. You talk about rich. Woo, that's for sure. I'm not a big cheese person. But I love the pork. It was just like cochinita. There are chilies and peppers in that. Guys, tell you the truth, man, this guy really eats. I didn't, I didn't believe it. He's fucking even dirty in his nose and everything. I am a little dirty. <laughs> I am a little hands off. Probably the average customer doesn't get so hands off. But tell me what you didn't like, did, did like. That burger is fantastic. Mm -hmm. You're seriously right. I can see why it's award winning. Super juicy. Mm -hmm. I can tell you guys to put like a lot of like that towel or something on there, man. Just make it so, so, so rich. It's a complete mouthfeel. You only need a bite. This is great. I love it with the pineapple everything in here. Mm -hmm. It's just so heavy food. These arepas are great, but so heavy. Uh, you only need a, you only you, you you can come here and order like an appetizer to share and an entree, like one, and you're totally, totally good. You don't eat this much food. This is great too. It's like a palate cleanser. It, bro <laughs> it broke your expectation when you came in a little bit, you know. <laughs> well, I'll be honest with were you. Were you actually thinking of leaving or going back? Pardon me. Were you actually thinking about not even coming in? Oh, not coming in. Well. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty open-minded, I think, so I was still gonna come in, but the outside was pretty, I mean, it doesn't look like this class of restaurant with like this quality of food. So I will give it that, but the outside's a little unexpected. For those people that actually came and left because of the, they know what now you they know what they're actually missing. If anybody actually came here and left because of how it looks on the outside, they're silly. Yeah, no, but there's there's actually people, so you know. Well they're missing out. There you go. Thank you. Thank <laughs> keep, you. Keep enjoying, keep enjoying. I don't know, man. I think I'm pretty much done here. I'm tapping out here in a second, everybody. But uh but woo. Um and that everybody, I think I'm done, really. I had so much food. Don't get me wrong, the dishes are great, but they are so heavy, so rich. Would you like to try a capsule? No. I am dying. I am absolutely dying. Thank you for the offer, though. Shout out me a cocktail. Oh. Maybe I'll have another bite of this ceviche. I remember one more bite of the steak. They definitely went above and beyond here at Moo. I did not expect this treatment or this hospitality. But they seriously, they brought it, man. But yeah, this is, uh... Mm. Grilled. Grilled pineapple. I think that's it. I guess I'm gonna eat this last one just for the sake of it. I'll take this to go. Oh. So tender. Very good. Really good. I'm going to stop. But very good. You just think somebody here at Moo. This was really cool. Very friendly. And not an experience at all that I was expecting. With that, everybody. I don't have a white flag, but I'm waving the flag. With that. How about that? All right, and literally I'm leaving, and they bombard me and say I have to try dessert. So let's get you set up here as I try this apparently Bread pudding. Apparently it's the best. And only, I'm only going to try a bite because I ate way too much. But I'll do it. Just because your hospitality was so good. 
This is the icing on the cake, guys. The icing don't, on the cake. Don't leave without this. All right. So the bread pudding. What 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 do we have here, my friend? So it's a bread pudding with a uh, guava insert and a uh, nice vanilla. Guava? Really? All right. Bread pudding with guava and vanilla ice cream. Well, let's see what this all about. Okay, yeah, so we got a bread pudding, some gooey on the inside. Mm. Oh, warm. Mm. Woo! That's like a caramel, really rich. Mm. And try this, uh, try this ice cream out. The ice cream looks great. It looks like a really quality ice cream. Mm. Whoa! What is this? One more time. They got so many somethings on it. All right. I don't understand this. I have never had ice cream taste that good. Like, well, I'll try the ice cream with the uh, the bread pudding. Yeah, definitely fry it. Holy jump! All right, I'm gonna find out about this ice cream because it's the best ice cream I've ever had. But uh. What is the what is the what is the ice cream? I'll tell you, man. We won't come again. Best ice cream I've ever had. All right, everybody. I'm done. I'm leaving. Way too much food, but thanks to Moo. Seriously, thanks to Moo. Really cool place. It's on the little more like less known part of town, but quality is there. So, till next time, everybody. Thanks, like literally. This is goodbye. Goodbye. Everybody, the time has come. Not for me to shave my head, for you to subscribe. So click my face right here, subscribe, click one of these two videos I picked just for you. And exciting news, we also have a new channel. So if you wanna watch challenges, raw, uncut, so you get to hear what the audience says, hear my real thoughts, opinions, noises, etc. link down below, Joel Hanson Raw. So check that out, appreciate y'all. Until next time, well, I'll see you in a minute. Click on these videos.